UDP scan is activated with the S uppercase U option. UDP scan works by sending a UDP packet to every targeted port. For some common ports such as 53 and 161, a protocol-specific payload is sent to increase response rate. But for most ports, the packet is empty. Well, there are some options to force Nmap to send non-empty packets such as data parameter. Because UDP scanning is generally slower and more difficult than TCP, some security auditors ignore these ports. Now, I think this is a mistake, as exploitable UDP services are quite common, and attackers certainly don't ignore the whole protocol. So in general, destination systems do not respond when they receive a UDP packet. So NMAP doesn't recognize if the port is open or filtered when there is no response from the target system. In this case, the port is flagged as open or filtered. To force the systems to respond to our packets, you'd be better off using UDP scan with version detection option. You'll have much more accurate results. Let's perform an NMAP UDP scan in our virtual network. Go to Kali and open a terminal screen. I want to scan my Metasploitable system. Let's create the UDP scan command. Nmap is the command itself. N is to avoid the DNS resolution. I like to see the IP addresses. Uppercase PN is to avoid the host discovery. We've seen these before. S uppercase U is to do the UDP scan. Now here's the target IP address. 172.16.99.206. So let's keep it fast. Scan for the top 10 ports only. I use top ports parameter for this purpose. Now, as I said a minute ago, UDP scan should run with version detection. Use S upperscore V parameter to use a version detection. I I'd like to add one more parameter here, which is reason. Reason parameter is used to show the reason why the state of the port is set as open, closed, or filtered. Now hit Enter. See what I mean? UDP is much slower than SynScan or TCP scan because the destination system does not respond in most of the time, and Nmap has to wait more to decide the states. And moreover, we use version detection, which sends more packets to understand the service and the version. So this scan takes much longer than the SYN or TCP scan. One IP address and 10 ports scanned in about, what's that, 100 seconds. Wake up if you took a nap. Here are the states of the top 10 UDP ports of Metasploitable. Ports 53 and 137 are flagged as open because they returned UDP responses. And you see the version of the services listening to those ports. Port 138 is flagged as open filtered because there is no response. And the other ports are flagged as closed because they returned ICMP port unreachable errors. Let's see how Nmap interprets the results of a UDP scan. Occasionally a service will respond with a UDP packet proving that it is open. If an ICMP port unreachable error, type 3, code 3, is returned, the port is closed. Other ICMP unreachable errors, type 3, codes 0, 1, 2, 9, 10, or 13, mark the port as filtered. If no response is received after retransmissions, the port is classified as open or filtered. 